Yeah, but 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 now you're an artist, you mm-hmm. know. Like yeah. you, 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 yeah. there used to be a big stigma that yeah, came there's no behind. box anymore. I still be yeah, I still people, get called a rapper sometimes. And I'm like, not really. I just yeah. I'm just making music. I don't know what to say. That's the you thing. Know? Like yeah, it's if you do it right. I mean there there is rapping, but like your stuff, it's different. It's mm-hmm. more pop if you're going to put it into any pop genre. Pop punk is what I consider mine. Pop punk, or or yeah. Pop punk, pop slash punk. That's basically what it is, literally. Yeah, we're and, you know, alternative or what, whatever. What, 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 uh, as yours, I would describe it as like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll record a grunge song and I'll record emo, a emo music e- and then I'll. Emo, emo, punky, grunge. I like it though. I guess like Kid Cudi started that. I guess. Yeah. You have to give him the credit. But oh he's yeah, stu- for but sure. he's straight rapping though. His stuff is like. He no, was singing. Kid Cudi, nah, man. I mean, he sung a lot too. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what I mean, like day and night and stuff like that. Like I'm talking like really at Man on the Moon too. Yeah, okay, okay. That, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that okay. was like when it started getting mm-hmm. dark and grungy. Yeah, like, he kind of like started the little Uzi Verts and all like the little yeah. peeps and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, like like he raced me with Kanye. Yeah, like, yeah. That, that's like 2009. And I don't spend time, time like, like I really should. should. And and like <laughs> that 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 type of music is nowadays what you hear on the radio. Yep. Ten years before, it sounds. Exactly. It sounds Present, mm-hmm. yeah, like and and, and that's like 2009 or oh, yeah. eight whenever he released that. Did you hear? Cuddy was so far ahead of his time. Did you hear his second album, the or not say I'm sorry, his most recent album, Man on the Moon Three. Yes, yeah, I like it. Oh, man, so that good. song Tequila Shots is really good. I like uh, she knows this, the void. Mm-hmm. I like it all. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm such a Kid Cuddy fan. To me, me Cuddy and Kanye can do no wrong. <laughs> I got an I love you from Kid Cuddy one time. Really? And yeah, I can die from happy Kid now. Cuddy. From Kid Cuddy. That's How? awesome. Yeah, me and two of my buddies went and seen him up in Champaign, Illinois. And there's a bunch of crazy stories from this trip. But uh, we were at the show and it got like really quiet. And at uh, one point in the show, he gets like a headset on and he plays the piano Mm -hmm. and uh like he got really quiet while he was setting everything up and one of my buddies his name is jordy shout out to jordy he says hey cuddy and like cuddy like waves at our direction you know Mm -hmm. and i'm like i love you (laughs) and cuddy started laughing he's like i love you too man and oh dude I, I had all be all. Oh yeah, like I, I have before this concert. I had every single Cuddy album. You know, like I was yeah. all Cuddy. I mean, is is dope. Well, he's he helped the man basically almost saved my life. I mean, right. like, no, that's you know, I, I went through, that. Tell that truth because I guarantee it. There's parts of him that I listen to sometimes, and it's just I'm like, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you, like because he says things that you're like, oh, you f- felt that way too, even as much money as you got, yeah, yeah, yeah. this and that. My favorite song by him ever is "Sky Might Fall." That's a good one. Just I don't know what yeah. it is. Well, whenever he released his first album, it's like right around the same time that I lost my mom, and also mm-hmm. I had to move up here, and just like my life drastically so you got changed. A weird connection changed. to yeah. his stuff because he probably yeah. Well, was I was li- I was listening to him, and like you know, I I, I thought like. Rap was like Eminem or Outkast. Like it had oh, yeah. to be like it had to be bars. It had to yeah, be yeah. It had to be skin. shaking your butt or like yeah, how, how good you could spit or whatever. And then I heard Cuddy like, and I didn't know what to classify exactly. Him. And I heard a song like Maniac mm-hmm. or Sky Might Fall or mm-hmm. Day and Night. And I'm like, like this dude is rapping about mental illness. Yeah, yeah. you know he's rapping about being depressed. I get you in a dark room. And yeah, man, like nobody else None had that. a voice like that. Yeah. And I could just relate so much, man. And Kanye, I mean, well not Kanye, but Cuddy, I mean, I've heard that from a lot of people too, mm-hmm. like how he helped save their life basically, or at least gave them somebody to look to. Yeah, you yeah. ever watch his TED Talk? Yeah, that's like a good one. Talk. That's good. He's Cut. a very humble person. Yeah, he is. yeah. He, 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 you don't, you don't see any ego whenever it comes oh, to no, Cuddy. No, not at all. But now Kanye, uh, you do a little. Yeah, yeah. He's seen but, that ego but, but but Kanye wouldn't be Kanye without the ego. Exactly. Of Kanye. You have to. I mean, like you. I don't think you can be Kanye mm-hmm. without having an ego like oh, that. Oh yeah. I mean, the the man dressed like Jesus. You know, when he performed. Yeah. He's called Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to have like some type of huge ego. There's never gonna be nothing, Kanye. I no. love Kanye. No, oh yeah, no, one. never, never. We talk yeah. about this every time because it's true, man. He he has inspired almost every person mm-hmm. that is doing what they're doing yeah, right now exactly. when it comes to rap music. Mm-hmm. Or melodies, yeah, you, pop you, music you, in general. Eight oh eight yeah. heartbreaks. You, you, that's that was the biggest. You go back to the album. Yeah, and you go back to the album right now, and I go back to and listen. And it just, I never really get in depth on music. I'm just like, oh, I like it. But if you want to know the truth, I love it. Like I actually love some of his songs. Like love them. Like if mm-hmm. they want, if they didn't exist, if they went away forever, it would bother me. 